Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another episode of Neo Fight. So let's just get started here. Let's try out another challenge since we beat it one time. So we will get some elite enemies. I'm interested what that's going to look like now. I guess that's what it's indicating. It is indeed. Let's check out what that's like here. I don't really know. You don't start out with anything. Okay, so what do we have? We have the, the melee attack. I guess those are elite enemies. And we do have the dagger spray here. So it looks like I'm forced into melee again. I'm not certain how well this is going to work out, but we'll find out. I don't really trust this whole melee thing. I don't, I don't know. It's really not certain what to think. I realized I had to find this game since it's not on Steam. You can only get it on their own little independent uh, itch.io site. Which, if you don't know, it's like super easy to use. It's just like... Uh, there's a link. It's just like, hey, it's a dollar uh you pay it and you're done kind of thing but i realize there's a problem there which is that it's just kind of sitting in a random download folder of mine critical hits ignite enemies dealing 110 percent damage so we want critical hits i guess if i can every 15 mana you spend shocks random enemy within five tiles critical hit chance increased by two two and a half percent so maybe that one enemies within three and a half percent Three and a half tiles have minus 60% movement speed, minus 30% attack speed. Let's try this one. And we'll go for a lot of crit chance, I guess. Best I can. We probably have to balance out some uh, defense here, but I don't know how much yet. We'll try that. But yeah, and so I feel like I'm going to tend to forget about games that, you know, basically are not on Steam or something like that. But I have... Uh, you know, they just get lost with time kind of thing. Sometimes I'll go back and I'll find an old download folder on like an old hard drive. It's like, oh yeah, I actually do own that game. I used to buy like a lot of games on Humble Bundle. And I really still should. There's no reason not to. Other than it's just not easily found. Like, there's, there's probably a better way for me to manage games like that though. You know what I mean? I know I can actually add them to like the Steam library, I think. You can add like the EXE and stuff like that. But, you know, that requires ingenuity and stuff. This is the... Okay, that's the absorb damage one. What do you got? 20% damage resistance as long as there are at least three enemies. That's not bad for us since we're melee. That's uh, pretty good. Healing potions also fully restore your mana. Reflect. That's not bad. Maybe I need something defensive. I mean, that seems to make sense to me. Plus mana... Plus attack speed. I still don't really understand how attack speed would help us that often. It's probably not bad. Um, for every 15 mana missing. So more maximum mana equals more crit chance from unshackled. So okay, I think that kind of works out. Alright, 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 alright. But yeah, like, I was talking about Zuma Deluxe or something recently, and I was thinking, like, that game's gotta be somewhere on my computer. And it is. It's just, like, sitting somewhere before the days of Steam, and there's probably so many games like that. Like, I have at the Epic Game Store downloaded and everything. I've, I've probably only actually paid for, like, one or two games from it. But I have, like, a dozen free games, and now the only issue is I never play them because they're on the Epic Game Store, exactly. You know what I mean? Which I never really open unless I have to. But there's so many games I'm missing out on that I'm not literally not even paying for. And stuff like that. And just out of pure laziness, they are getting ignored by me. And I should be ashamed of myself, basically. Alright, let's see what we got here. Cooldown reduction. Oh, no, what I got? Tingling dash. Whenever you dash... Wait. There's a dash button? Grasping vines is cast between your start and end position. Why do I feel like I knew that? Oh! There's a dash button, by the way. Left shift. I kind of forgot. Okay. That's good. Uh-huh. Uh, okay, so attack speed. I mean, move speed's not better than I think. Uh, maybe I just take the mana per second, though. It's, like, strictly good, right? Maybe I do some mana resist. Do I need more damage? Uh, let's just do mana per second. It just seems good, you know? I, I 100% forgot. 
that there is a dash move. I think the tutorial told me, and then I promptly never used it because I forgot. Well, that probably would have helped me in, like, the first video at the least. So I managed to complete a no dash challenge uh, for, like, uh, my second video or whatever, you know? There you go. Boom. Meme runs complete now. All right, dash away. Oh, the dash kind of makes things a little bit more interesting, I gotta say. At least from a melee perspective. We'll see, you, though. Hmm. Okay, this is pretty tough. It's like I have to build up some mana now and everything. I kind of liked it better when I was just running around. Uh, getting my mana back, almost, more so. Oop, oop, oop. There we go. But yeah, there. If, if I don't add this game to like my Steam library, there's a chance I might just forget about it forever at some point. You know what I mean? Black Hole. All right, we've had that before. It's okay. Power is increased by 20%, but my attack speed is reduced by 12%. Basic spells deal 50% more damage. Trailblazer. Maybe the basic. I wonder if you can do a basic only run here. Probably of some kind. Crit hit damage. Seems like it's good, but I'm not taking any defense, which could be a problem. I mean, our... our we get quite a bit of crit chance going. We get many a crit, it would appear. Gather them up, baby. Okay, but don't die. But also don't die, you know? I have a panic button if need be. Ow! Oh, oh! Panicked. I panicked. Oh, uh, so maybe the dash is going to be good for getting away from, like, the laser beams here, which I tend to struggle with. Okay. This is fine. I like the extra challenge and stuff. Okay. Please, Dan. Use another panic. Okay, that's good. Oh! Oh my gosh, that hurt. Dang, that just did so much damage to me. I accidentally used my cooldown. I mean, that's fine. I assume the cooldowns reset in between automatically to some, to some degree. Maybe not. Okay. That's fine, too. Move speed. Okay, that's whatever. Whenever you take 35% of your life, steam destroy all enemy projectiles, stun all enemies within five tiles for three seconds. So I wonder what the developer needs to get, convince them to keep adding stuff to the game, because I feel like it's got a really good core like base base level of the game to it i really like it defensive we could change our basic away from the punch but i don't really see oh they're both basics dang it hmm so fireball is more of a ranged thing but it does mean our whirling death kind of oh burst is like the bubble okay burst is the bubble that's like super slow and stuff. I don't know if I've used the fireball. Guess I'll try. Uh, maybe max mana again, because that also increases our our crit chance to some degree. All right, so let's pull out. What's the fireball look like? Oh wait, 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 wait. Yeah, there we go. Oh, it's very slow. Compared to the fist. It's okay. You can still hold it down. All right. Okay. And I can just kind of let the enemies come to me kind of thing. And then dash away. Beautiful. I just realized there's like a counter. It kind of tells you when the next wave of enemies is coming and everything. I did set things up to where we kind of want enemies around us. Kind of only, though. The game's got quite a bit to it for a dollar, at least, right? And it's very close to having a lot more. I can't really... It's, it's, it appears to be 1.0, so... I don't know how much more we're really going to get. 
the actual dev update says it's 1.0, so... Right, I really gotta watch out for the lasers here. Okay. We got a lot of mana. Let's try to kill that. Okay. We got rid of the lasers. Looking good. You can just go ahead and use this, I guess. All right, all right, all right, all right. Whew, it's getting scary, though. I do have to think a little bit harder about how I do things. All right, all right. Maximum life up, some power up. Okay. Heal for 30% of the mana you spend. That always sounds decent. When you say an enemy, you gain 5% life and mana generation for 3 seconds. This effect can stack. I think I like that one better, though. Because the mana regeneration sounds like it'll just help a lot better. Alright, I guess mana regen out of these. Life, cooldown. Yeah, I could always do better managing cooldowns. Can always do better. It's possible that the other move is better, too. The basic there, basically. Boop! Managing cooldowns, that's what it was all about back in the day, you know? If I died in, during a raid in World of Warcraft, my guild leader would say... Or in a in a, in a in arena match, too, for that matter. Say, do you, is such and such on cooldown? Is that on cooldown? It's like, no. <laughs> it's not. You should never die with a, like, all... Unless every single cooldown is up kind of thing. For the most part, whoa. Speaking of which, huh? Okay, we're fine. Get in there. I gotta kill this thing or something. My god. Oh, oh no. Okay. Alright, suck him in. Yes. A little low on the mana, though. We're going to keep the mana up. Okay, it looks like we took care of most of the big enemies, at least, here. Not certain how many waves there are, and if it's going to go up per, uh, per challenge or what here. Woo! Woo! It, the game made it seem like it only, uh, all you got was, uh, elite enemies. Lightning damage you deal is 25% chance to stun. That's arcane, that's fire. I think I can change this back to the punch, which is lightning. Because I don't think it was a major difference, probably. Maximum life up. Ghost form. We can do a meteor. I don't really want the burst. I want I want a lightning spell or something. I guess we take that, right? So that's our E now. Crit hit chance, I guess, or just more mana up, which also indirectly increases our mana, our crit chance for the most part. I think that's fine, too. The thing is, more ma more maximum mana doesn't really increase how much mana we get back or anything like that, so... So, I don't know. It's kind of questionable how useful more maximum mana is for the most part. Ooh, off to a bit of a start here. Like, you really got to kill the laser guys. They look like the boss from Kirby. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about. Kratos? No way, that's God of War. <laughs> Something like that, you know? Speaking of Kirby, they just announced on the on Nintendo Direct a new Kirby game. And I have not touched a Kirby game. Oh my god. It's so long. I never really played, like, Kirby 64. Uh oh, hold on. We're, we're struggling here. We're struggling. Fighting for my life right now. Okay, we're fine. Okay, come on. Get out of the explosions. That's good. Alright, we're looking better now. Looking splendid. Big explosions. Very good. Um, I honestly don't think I've played a full-fledged Kirby game since, like, uh... Kirby Superstar, I think. And I'm not even positive it was called Superstar, but it was a favorite of mine. And it's not because I have anything against Kirby. I just think, like, they haven't really come out with a ton of Kirby games. But maybe I'm also wrong, I feel. 
it, I feel like the Kirby games kind of went the way of the Yoshi games, which is that I'm not really the targeted demographic for them anymore. And so I don't really feel the need to try them. All right, let's see what we got here. But who knows? Maybe things will change. Damage resistance. Your evasion is increased by 20% while moving. Maximum life is increased by 15%. Healing potions drop 60% more often. All defensive. I don't really know which one's better here. Honestly, maybe evasion. Crit hit damage. Crit hit damage. I got enough defense now. I took like one defensive thing. That should be enough, right? I'm like always moving. Oh, but attacking doesn't count as moving. I guess. So it's questionable. Okay. Keep an eye out for the lasers and everything. All right, I see a laser guy. Moving in for the kill. Run. It honestly does feel like they are the, my biggest danger. Okay, there we go. Good. Crit hit chance goes up to almost 50% when I'm low on mana. So that strategy appears to be working at the least. See another laser guy over here. Done. Gonzo. I'm not certain what the ghost thing is. Is that when uh, I triggered the defensive hit, maybe? I go ahead and use the defensive, I think, there. Okay, looking good. Someone broke up a vocal, I think, disfluency in a comment, and I had to Google what it was. But it's kind of like, uh, you know, it's something that you fill a void in your speech with. And apparently I say stuff like that a lot, the phrase stuff like that. Which I was not really aware of until it was pointed out to me. And that stuff's fascinating to me. I love to point that stuff out to wife. When she has like a new phrase or something like that. Or maybe it's not even new, but just something I recently noticed. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Like it's really fascinating to kind of notice those things about people. I think, uh... And then when you point it out to them, it, it kind of blows their mind. Because you don't notice that you say these things. Otherwise, you probably wouldn't say them so often, you know? And I think we all have tendency in words we tend to use to uh, more often than we probably want to. But we just don't really realize it yet. I can't believe that's not the last one yet. Evasion and mana. Deal 30% more damage to enemies within... Ooh, nice. A melee one. That's beautiful. We might want... Hmm... Well, lightning damage has uh, chances to stun. We don't really want the the lava chakram. Oh, uh, this is the bolt enemy that's ranged, right? I don't know if I actually want to put it on, though. You know what I mean? I don't think I need any of that. Let's do crit hit damage. I think I just leave it. Uh, I could have changed it because the lightning has a chance to stun, but... Maybe this is just good because it gets rid of projectiles. It's kind of hard to measure exactly, but I think it might actually be quite good. Okay. We're fine, we're fine. Like, I'm aware of some things that I... The phrases I use a lot. Probably more than I should. Like, I think I say... You know what I'm saying? A little bit too much. I feel like J-Rock from... It's from Trailer Park Boys or something like that, you know? I probably say that a little too much. But you just kind of accept these some some of these things about yourself and you know, whatever, whatever. I used to tease wife because she had this saying and I noticed it for a long time before I even brought it up. But whenever it was cold in the house and she wanted to turn up the heat, she'd say, Can we bump up the heat? Almost as if, you know, we're at the club and she wants to bump up the tunes or something like that. Same thing. Anything that involved temperature, it was interesting uh, when it came up, really. Anything that involved temperature. You know, if we're cooking a meal and the saute pan isn't hot enough, she'd be like, hey, maybe we should bump up bump up the heat a little bit there. It's like, oh, well, I see. 
It's cute, really. And then I pointed out to her, and suddenly she doesn't say it anymore. I was like, oh, it was actually kind of fun, though. You know what I mean? It was very fun. I'm sure. I'm sure people tend to notice uh, my phrases more than I do, too. So, whoa. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. There is one laser guy. All right, two laser guys. Oh my God, there's more. I think that was the last phase or whatever. Please tell me this is the end of the enemies by now, because holy god. Bonk. Use the black hole. The space bar cooldown is actually comes up way more often than I think. This had to this had to have lasted longer. Challenge one here. It must have. I wonder how far the challenges go too. Okay, now I just have to slowly kill everything else. Come here. I did better on the cooldowns and everything. Is that a win? That's a win, baby. Boom. Challenge one complete. Seemed like we had quite a bit of damage, at least. It's kind of hard for melee to work that well, I still think. I gotta wonder. Victory! It's, they do say expand the game, so I'm hoping that they give us more. And not that I, I I really want more, but I just want the game to last so I can advertise it more. You know what I'm you know what I'm saying over there? You know what I'm saying? All right, everybody. Thank you for watching another episode of Neat Oat Fight. Check me out on stream. I could be playing it right now. You don't even know. It could be possible. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. And I'll catch you all later. Good night. Bye. Hey, YouTube. Make sure you come visit my Twitch streams for all the best cursed content ever at twitch.tv slash every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday starting at 12 p.m. EDT.